take a GSRT A2. This is all about the introduction of similarity in worksheet number two. So the whole reason that we built the foundation of dilation, scale factors, proportionality, all of those skills is for these moments coming up about similarity. Similarity uh, is established under a new criteria, a new definition that says two objects, two shapes, two triangles, if it may be, are similar if uh, you can map one onto the other using a single or series of similarity transformations. This is a lot like our definition of congruence. Uh, with congruence, we talked about the isometric transformations, reflection, rotation, translation. These motions are isometric, which locks in two things. It locks in shape, because it locks in the angles. And two, it locks in size, because it locks in the distances between those points. Thus, isometric, or rigid. When we talk about the similarity transformations, you'll notice three are repeats, and we add one more. This allows us to then uh, map one shape onto another that may be bigger or smaller. As long as it's within proportion, we can do that. The reason these are included is they create a one-to-one -one mapping. So sometimes maybe we have to rotate the shape so it's at the right angle and then dilate it onto the other one. And so these are included in the list because we need to orient the shape or locate the shape correctly and then create the dilation to map one onto the other. Similarity transformations include these items and then it is about uh, altering one shape to map it onto the other just as we did with congruence. But now the shapes can be proportional and still establish similarity. The last thing I just want to talk about is a similarity statement. A similarity statement might say triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Now you've seen this symbol before, it was in congruence, but the congruence symbol had the equals there because it represented both equal sides and, and same shape. So when we take that away, the sides can now differ but be proportional, but the shape would maintain itself. And so let's take a look at some examples here of uh, how we would establish similarity between two shapes. Similarity statements are just like congruence statements. Um, remember what similarity means though is that it preserves angles and the sides are proportional. <clears throat> so um, yes, angle M would match angle A. They would be identical. But in terms of sides, we could say that RG is to BC as GM is to CA. Just again, follow the, the pattern, right? It would be CA would be our answer there. Let's try this one. MR, the first two here, are to MG as uh, MR, as AB, as AB is to AC. Again, follow, follow the pattern. Um, <clears throat> down here, we're now learning that the way we establish things to be uh, similar is to map one onto the other using similarity transformations, which are the rotation, the reflection, the translation, and now the dilation. And so if we're going to map OBA, this big guy, onto this one, you got some options, but I think we're going to rotate it first. So I'm going to do a rotation um, about O, 90 degrees, because that would be in this direction. Um, and so in doing so, <clears throat> let me actually just grab a piece of patty paper. So I lay it down, and I make my little plus sign, and I mark my A, B, and my C, and I rotate by 90. So let's find them there, right there. To that right there. So um, we would get B prime in this location, A prime in this location, and and then we're going to maybe you can't see it, so let me draw my rays. But now I can see I need to do a dilation to shrink 
uh, that onto the other. So now I'm going to dilate by O, and I need to know by how much. And so uh, it's 6 left, 4 up, 3 left, 2 up, so it's exactly 1 half. I'm going to dilate by a half. So I, I first rotated and then dilated it by a half to scale it down and onto it. There's actually more than one way to do it. Make sure you are doing it from OBA onto ORG, though. Here, uh, a similar kind of setting. Um, I could do this a couple of ways. I'm going to move the little guy, though, onto the big guy. So I'm going to start by a translation. I'm going to translate, uh, it looks like 8 to the right, so 8 to the right. And that would place uh, this guy right here. It would place this guy right here. Uh, it would place this guy right here. There's the new location after I slid it 8 over. And now I could nicely dilate that by, let's see how big. So there's an easy way to do it. There's 2, 4, 6. So we're going to dilate this about the origin three times bigger and it will land onto our friend there. A nice, easy way to understand similarity transformations, or similarity is to establish it using the similarity transformations of dilation, reflection, rotation, and translation.